the, the risk-reward idea starts to come in. It doesn't say you can't get any more, but it says that, okay, now, not only timing-wise, but price-wise, we're, we're coming into what we know was a powerful launch. So there are two dynamics in play. The first is you've got to bust this and knock out these traders and say, you were wrong. You thought you had a good one, but you were wrong. And the first time we come back to this zone, we need to be aware of that fact that this was a powerful launch zone. We can't just assume it's going to break and break easily. And then as it continues to get hammered and bounces, if bounces get contained, then those traders will finally say, I guess I was wrong, and I better make sure I don't lose. I, why would I ever turn a winning trade into a losing trade? But that's part of the dynamics the first time back to that neighborhood. And if you are short, you're thinking defensively and conservatively, at least I am, saying, okay, I remember what happened the last time it was here. Took everybody's head off. Then they did a little sweeper move above it. And then ever since then, we have sold off and come all the way back through this bar. And that's where the risk and reward comes into play. So today, we said, let's take a look at the five-minute chart, because that was good. It bounces, see if we can get any continuation. 93.75, a potential target. We came within two ticks of it. So if you want more, you either need a trailer or a re-entry, in my opinion. You know, you have two ticks. From the target, come on. It doesn't mean it has to be the low for the day or anything. It just means in, in terms of swing dynamics. So we've got within two ticks of our proposed target. If you look at a 10-minute chart on the money, beautiful trade from the, the bounce into that O2 middle. And obviously, we said the 30-minute chart was in play. And that also has proven to be correct. So I like, I said I like the larger time frames to support the smaller ones. And I've done that this morning. So again, <clears throat> my thought was that we would have probably an attack into the 90s, but how far is the key? Because that 93 is going to be pivotal. And at some point, you know, traders just decide, okay, I'm better off buying than I am staying here. So today's uh, dynamic, this line right here, we said we're going to keep an eye on because this is Friday's low. <clears throat> and we're going to use this idea today to stay observant of are we under or over that line. And I said we can probably play either way, <clears throat> but the better odds, I said, will come from being closer to 93. Since that, obviously, uh, that launching pad um, was very powerful and is part of today's dynamics. Well done. If you got something short side today, outstanding. If you had the courage to play the gap trade, that's a great trade. Uh, I said my preference would be to hit bounces today, and you can't do everything. You can't just, you know, <clears throat> flip flop. It's not easy to flip flop. Try to plan your trades. My preference was to be looking to align with the morning after trend day trade. And if you get either of those trades, congrats. If you got both of them, 
Hug the wife, hug the kids, hug the dog. Great, great job.